have you enjoyed the last week of life, Julia? <laughs> You know, it's so funny because they don't see the conversation that we're having before the camera turns This has on. nothing to do with my question. Did you enjoy <laughs> the last week of life? Yes, I enjoyed the last week of life. I'm healthy, got a great family, the dog's healthy, full of energy. What about you, Mr. Newly Married Man? Yeah, you know, Julia is not at all trying to give the proper answer I wanted her to give so that I could make a transition into the forecast. So instead, here's a perfectly unseamless transition into the forecast. I wanted her to say she enjoyed the last week of life because temperatures were cool and there was absolutely no humidity across the Tennessee Valley. Because if you stepped outside at any point this afternoon, you probably noticed it was a little more humid today compared to what we've seen over the last several days. We're beginning to see a little more moisture move back into our atmosphere across North Alabama, Southern Middle Tennessee. And eventually that's going to lead to increased opportunities for rain. Not something we're talking about this evening. Pinpoint Viper's nice and quiet. I expect it's going to stay that way as we head into the overnight. But there are limited opportunities for rain as we head into Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then through Saturday. Opportunities for rain increase across the Tennessee Valley by the time we get to Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday of next week. Here's what Futurecast looks like, 8, 8.30, 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Some of us are dealing with more sunshine than cloud cover. That'll be the theme across northeast Alabama, Jackson, DeKalb, and Marshall counties, and then portions of southern middle Tennessee. If you're west of the I-65 corridor, you may be dealing with a little more cloud cover than sunshine for the morning commute. Be mindful of that. Some of you are also going to have to deal with a little bit of patchy, dense fog. That is likely in those locations that are more prone to a little more fog development. Cloud cover increases across the Tennessee Valley through the later part of the morning and then early into the afternoon. That's going to be that time period, the early afternoon through the early part of the evening when we talk about that chance for a couple of scattered showers. Still at that, some of us are going to be dealing with a mostly clear sky even as we head into Wednesday evening. Through the overnight, early into Thursday morning, it's going to be much the same. Some of us have a little bit of cloud cover. Some of us have a little bit of patchy, dense fog. Others are going to be dealing with a mostly clear sky. That's how we start Thursday morning. That's how we continue Thursday afternoon. Some of us get to enjoy a fair amount of sunshine. Other folks, namely folks west of the I-65 corridor, dealing with an increase in cloud cover and an increased opportunity for a little bit of rain. Not everybody's going to get wet this weekend. Not this week and not everybody's going to get wet at the exact same time. Off to the tropics we go where we are talking about Hurricane Sam. Right now Sam is a category 4 hurricane with sustained winds of 140 miles per hour. Thankfully it looks like Sam is going to have absolutely no impact on the continental United States. Like I said a little bit of patchy dense fog is liable to develop in some of the more fog prone locations as we head into the overnight early into your Wednesday morning. Maybe plan now just to allow yourself a couple of extra minutes on the morning commute to work. Otherwise I've got a low right around 64 degrees. We climb into the mid 80s once again tomorrow afternoon. A couple of isolated showers are going to be possible. There's a high of 85 degrees. Have a good look at the next seven days. 86 both Thursday and Friday. 84 on Saturday. 82 degrees by the time we get to Sunday. A few more clouds across the Tennessee Valley through Saturday, Sunday, and then through Monday and Tuesday of next week. Hey, I want to tell you guys about a brand new Facebook group I've started. The Tennessee Valley's Fox 54 Weather Network. This is going to be a brand new way for you to share your weather photos, your weather videos, and partake in daily weather discussion with myself and Emily. It's a private Facebook group, but if you just go to the search bar and type in the Tennessee Valley's Fox 54 Weather Network, you'll find it. Just ask to join. I'll let you in and hopefully you'll get to partake in some of the discussion and share photos and videos with not just myself and Emily, but other viewers across North Alabama and Southern Middle Tennessee. That's all I got for you this evening.